wife of the year. Who is she, right? It looks good. It was just something cute to do. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my Costco haul, everything I got from Costco for April. Springtime at Costco is so beautiful, I love it so much. If you haven't seen that video of my shop with me, go ahead and tap this eye right here. I'll also be cleaning out our refrigerator and just doing some things around the house that we need to get done. Um, we might do some things outdoors and work on my garden and stuff like that, so I'm really excited. But up first, let me show you some of the clothes that we got from Costco this month. I ended up getting this three-piece set for myself because it was on sale. I love a lounge set. This is what I wear about 98% of the time since we're at home most of the time. This is on sale for $9.97 and it comes with a t-shirt, shorts, and the jogger pants with pockets for the win. Um, it's like a thin material. I'm hoping I can fit it because in the store I was talking about how they only had like smalls and mediums left. I don't know. With this homegrown booty of mine, I, I'm just, we'll see. We'll see if it fits. If not, then I'll just take it back. But I did get this. And then for my girls, they have these cute little swimsuits. Like these little tankinis. Aren't they adorable? I can't wait to see their faces when they see them. They were $14.97 each. It comes with the top, the bottoms, and then shorts. And this has shorts as well. I just thought they were really cute. So we have that. And then I also bought them. These were $9.97 each. Two shorts. And then three t-shirts. In fact, they take about the same size. So I'll just let them pick which ones they want. And that'll be fine. And so that is the clothes that I got. Again, these were $14.97. These were $9.99 each. And this was $9.99 as well. Girls, look. I bought you a bathing suit and some t-shirts and shorts. I like this one. I knew you were going to like that one. And Ava, do you like this one? Or do you like this one? This is that one. If you if you like the purple one, then I can take, exchange it. Hey! Ooh, I like cute, this one. right, girls? And then we got some T-shirts and some shorts, so we're ready for the summertime, right? Yep. All right, so let me show you what else we got from Costco that I'm really super super excited to try. I am so excited to try this Catalina Crunch Keto cereal. I wonder if it's gonna taste like. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It has zero sugars, no sugar alcohol. And I'm like trying to think, well, how is this gonna be with no sugar alcohol? Like, is it gonna be sweet at all? I don't know. But the ingredients were really clean. Oh, it's sweetened with monk fruit. And it has 11 grams of protein, nine grams of dietary fiber, so it's five net carbs. And the serving size is a half a cup, which is pretty big. So I can't wait to try this. I'll keep you guys posted on it. Of course, I got my turkey bacon. Charles and I have been loving this turkey bacon lately. We don't miss the pork bacon at all. It's not that we're against pork, but I felt like we were just eating too much of it. And I like that this is no nitrates um, and, it, and it tastes really good. It doesn't taste like your normal turkey bacon. Then I got some of these. I cannot wait to try these. I think I'm gonna try a seafood keto lasagna. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious with these langostinos. I love these. You, there's so many things you could do with this, like with zucchini noodles or just sauteed in butter and garlic. Delicious. Okay, I got some more keto ice cream bars, you know. My family loves these, all four of us love these. My kids are not keto, but they love these ice cream bars. We got some more almonds. Charles and I go through about a bag every two weeks, two to three weeks because, um, there's another bag here, it's, we're almost done. We eat these every day as a snack. I got these little non breads for my kids. They like to make homemade pizzas after school. They use the air fryer and these are the perfect size. Uh, I just keep these in the freezer and they thaw out really fast. Within five minutes, they're thawed. Got some broccoli, organic broccoli, some asparagus for our vegetables next week to eat with whatever I cook. I have not made a meal plan yet, but I probably will do that hopefully by the end of this video. I got a new keto bread. I cannot wait to try this to see how it tastes, to see if it's any better than my normal Sola keto bread. This was new to my Costco. I've never seen it before. It was $7.99. I hope it tastes good, but here's the thing. It's zero net carbs, no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners. I don't know. Not all keto bread is the same to me. Here are the ingredients. Like the Aldi keto bread kicks me out of ketosis. I can immediately tell when a keto bread uh, or something that says it's keto doesn't sit well with my body. Everybody's different. So we'll see how this goes. 
got my girls some more string cheese, some blueberries. I got two things of heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream, the price is going up. It's $4.69 each. But I, I'm like a snob with heavy whipping cream. Not all heavy whipping cream tastes the same to me. I just really like the Land O'Lakes brand. And ever since my husband started adding it to his coffee, girl, he's been tearing it up, okay? Because he never used to use heavy whipping cream at all. But then I was like, I started making him his coffee in the morning and I started adding it to it and now he loves it. So I guess it's my fault. <laughs> then I got some wild cod. I'm gonna freeze these and have these probably next week and the week after that. I'll, I'll cut them up into even evenly pieces and I'll probably fry these like a keto fish fry and maybe make some keto cornbread with them. I think that'll be good, so. We have that and then of course we have lemonade. I cannot go to Costco without lemonade. I also bought these Ziploc bags because they were on sale. I wanna say they were $10.59 and I took two out to give to my mom to split with her because um, I don't go through these often but like, you know, I only buy them when they're on sale. The other thing that was pretty expensive that I bought was this wet and forget outdoor spray stuff to put on our deck. You can also use it on roofs on the siding and pretty much what it does is, is it prevents mold and mildew and algae and stuff that stains your deck. Ours, ours was stained so bad um, before my dad pressure washed it. And so this is supposed to help with that. It's supposed to prevent it. So that's why I bought it. It was $29.99. It was very expensive. I'm hoping that it works. Have you, any of you all tried it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And I bought some toilet paper. It seems like the rolls are getting smaller and smaller. They're even smaller than what they were last year. I feel like we run through the toilet paper very, very quick now. Of course, there's 380 sheets per roll instead of 425 because that's what it was before. But yep, I got the bath tissue. I also bought my parents cranberry juice, some strawberries, and some bread for them. So. All right, so that's everything I got with the clothes, with the stuff that I bought my parents, which wasn't much, and then the stuff that I just showed you. All together, I spent like over $300. That's crazy, right? I'm just trying to think. I, the clothes was a, a huge thing of it, a thing, a portion of it, as well as the, the stuff that I got to spray on the deck. That alone, I wanna say is close to $100. So $200, and I got two meats. So it's not, it's not horrible. I mean, it is bad. All of it's bad. All the groceries are expensive. So it is what it is. What can you do? So you're probably wondering, well, Gia, why didn't you get all of those beautiful plants that you saw at Costco? I was tempted, as you saw in the shop with me. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta watch that first. Tap this eye right here. But in the shop with me, I was literally standing in that garden center for what seemed like hours. It was probably a good 20, 30 minutes, just picking them out and stuff. Um, and I was tempted to buy them, but then I was like, oh, let me wait, because I wanted to see what Home Depot had, and I'd look at their prices first. And now I'm reading through the comments through the last April shop with me, and all of you guys were like, get the eight for 22, get the eight for 22. So now I'm like, mm, I might run back over there and get those um, today. <laughs> Cause you guys are all like, you should have gotten them. You should have gotten them. The eight for 22 and not the big planter with all those plants in them and stuff. Because a lot of you guys said that they may outgrow that planter and then you'll have to replant it. And I don't want to do that. But yeah, many of you guys were like, get the eight for 22. So I might go back and get that, but we will see. But yeah, uh, Costco was really, really fun. This month so as you guys know I love my garden and my dad built my garden box that I have outside several years ago and we built a garden box last year at his house my mom just wanted a garden bed and he built this whole little greenhouse and we had a shovel dirt I mean it was really fun actually but he built that and so now I'm gonna show give you a little tour because he he has another third garden now that he's added and I'm like pop what about me <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna show you that footage now. So for those that remember, we built that last year. My dad has now added to the collection. Go ahead, Pop. This is lettuce over here. Very nice. These are bell peppers, mm -hmm. that's tomato, and that's broccoli. I'm gonna put a lattice, a fence over it to keep mm -hmm. the animals out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm also Looks gonna nice. paint this here, uh, or stain this here a different uh, color. Probably uh -huh. the color of the house or so. It doesn't need to be stained, Pop. Just let it be natural. Hmm? Just let it be natural. It's on the yeah, side of the house. It gets more sun it. over here. I got some halfway stain there anyway. Uh-huh. Do you guys remember me lugging all the dirt the last year? Who remembers? Leave a comment. Flashback. So what I've been having to do is go all the way up this hill, girl, with the wheelbarrow or either a crate that we have, fill my dad's truck up with dirt, and then bring it back down this hill, girl 
and feel talk about a workout and a flashback see it wasn't really this garden wasn't really that successful because one my parents weren't coming down here to water it like they needed to and two it didn't get as much sun top here topsoil okay I'm, I'm gonna put some more logs in there okay but these are chip um, leaves that mm -hmm. agar chips up yeah and i'm gonna put them um and i'm gonna put my collard greens and yeah, my zucchini he, in here i'll have to really take them over daily I've to take care of it because it's like it's nice though you built it and then i lugged all the dirt over we finished building it and it's a cute little garden shed so let's go inside i gotta pull the weeds up put a yeah there's a lot of weeds in here nothing but weeds but something was eating the collard greens in here but this it just didn't get enough sun for it to flourish and last but not least this, this will be their third garden okay they're really i said i want to start garden all of a sudden they start garden gardening and now they have three gardens three gardens pop really yeah. okay this is lettuce okay this is spinach and of course you know what the onion is yeah an onion okay and that's and strawberries. strawberries cute i put straw I like the strawberries I put, I put uh round leaves down they did not grow these on ones top of it uh -huh. and straw on top of that to hold the moisture in the ground okay they went to home depot and went crazy baby they just went nuts at home depot and said i want this plant i want this plant i want this plant and mother you I don't think so. you all went to town uh, at home depot now you have three gardens that you've got to take care of three garden, not just one three um a garden top <laughs> what can i say Oh wow, Mom, you're really getting off. So as you guys know, we have a lot of projects that we're doing outdoors that I've been talking about over the past couple of weeks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, girl, catch up. You've got to watch and check in every single week. And so we have a lot of outdoor uh, projects to do, out, like besides my garden. We have some erosion issues around our house that we're dealing with. We're relaying sod, we're working with the landscaper with that, but there are some projects that we're gonna be doing ourselves. So I'm gonna be showing, we, we need to go to Home Depot to get a few things and um, walk around Home Depot. Home Depot. Of course, you know, I love the garden center. So let's check that out. We are doing an irrigation project with our gutters ourselves. I know we're nuts, but this is what we're here trying to find tubing and we just need to deal with the water that's settling in our house because that's dangerous for your foundation so that's why we're here at Home Depot. And while we're here we might as well look at the garden center because I did look over there earlier and they have some beautiful things but it really makes me want to go back to Costco and get that beautiful planter that was $32.99 because everything's really expensive here. All right so I'm not sure what these are. These are annuals and if you remember at Costco you can get eight for $22.99 but they were a lot bigger than this these are $158 each so I don't know let me do the math on that all right so you can get eight of these for $12.64 but again these are a little bit smaller than the ones that were at Costco because at Costco was eight for $22.99 these are so pretty though right these are all I think these are annuals so maybe I, it is help maybe I should just get them and buy a planter here and do it that way i mean i can be here all day y'all i know my husband's gonna rush me but these are beautiful over here i think are all the perennials i know over there are all the perennials are petunias these come back and come back once you plant them once they'll come back which is nice they need full sun i love the hanging pot that they're on and i would love to hang some on my deck but where should i hang them at above my deck that is i guess i'd have to get those hanging it's like a stand that you can get to hang plants on them I don't, if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below i also love the look of these what are these called they're annuals dusty miller i just think they're so pretty right very very pretty these are pretty too i love the grass look in between and i love the bright colors of these striped plants here now, how much are these okay so these are 29.99 you remember but the pot is so basic compared to the one at costco I feel like the one at Costco had way more in it for $32.99. That's why I wanted to go back and get them. And of course, they have the hydrangeas. Yo, I love hydrangeas so much. These are really pretty hanging baskets as well. Love that. How much are these? I don't know, but I like the fullness of it. The hydrangeas are $34.98. I love the color of these petunias. Oh, doesn't it just bring you so much joy to see all of this life here and plants? 
honestly, it just does something to me, man. I love it so, so much. All right, so I need to make some decisions. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it back to Costco today, but if I don't, I just pray that by the time I come back, they have those planters. If not, I will be coming back here. I did not go outside and look at any of the vegetables yet. I'll probably have to make another stop at Home Depot. We'll do a full garden haul. And you know, when I'm setting up my garden, when I'm ready to move my plants or my vegetables outdoors, we'll, we'll do it all together. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in that. Oh, that's a pretty gold. Here they are. Sorry the music's so loud, so I have to make it quick. But this is what I was talking about. If I can somehow attach it to the deck and then I can hang my, my hanging plants on the deck, right? Because I think these are made for the garden to stick into the ground. But it would be nice if I can have something for my deck. All right, so I'm outside of the garden center. You know how they have like the displays right outside here. And I was just looking to see what they have. My mom already bought some, but I know you're like, my seeds are struggling, girl. I'll show you when I get home, but they are struggling. So I feel like I'm gonna buy just a couple of plants. You know, so that I can put out just straight outside. I just don't, usually sometimes they have one last cold snap, like right before Easter. And I don't want to kill them, you know, by putting them outside too early. But I just wanted to see what they have. I don't have that much this year. Oh, let's go look at the Bonnie. I have, I've had good luck with them. Here are all the Bonnie plants. They have all different types of hybrid tomato. Very large, meaty sandwich tomato. Huh, a hybrid with what though? A lot of them are hybrid tomatoes, except for the Roma. The beef classic paste tomato. Huh. I know the ones I had last year, I think they were beef tomatoes. Those are good. They grew them from seed though, like I said, but these are healthy, healthy. I don't wanna kill them. So they're 478 each. Wow. They've gone up. I wanna say last year they were like 399. But Oh, wow, 478 each. It looks like that's the price for all of them. They have watermelon, they have all types of things. Let's see. Yep, all of them are 478. Lettuce. My parents um, planted lettuce. I showed you guys. That. Oh, this is what I need a citronella mosquito plant. I definitely want this for the deck. And then, of course, they have herbs. Oh, gosh, this, this is exciting, y'all. Let's go look at the vegetables. All right, we're just looking today. We're not going to buy anything just yet. They don't have zucchini or anything. Oh, they have the orange bell peppers, that's nice. Let's see, bell peppers, banana peppers. Huh, I don't see any zucchini. Oh, huh. that's cool. At least I'm trying to grow that one seed. Hopefully we'll, they'll grow for me, but. All right, this is a good starting point for us. We're gonna do so much in our garden this year. Guys, I'm so happy that you're with me doing it. Like, I feel like you guys are with me doing this, making decisions with me. All right, y'all, I am back at my house. We bought a few of these, I guess, bricks <laughs> to see what kind of border we want to put in front of her, our house. I, I don't know. Now it's way lighter than I thought. These ones, we are taking these out, three bushes out because they're just so big and it just, I don't know. I just, it kind of like feel like it blocks our doorway. I would show you my, the whole front of my house, but... There's a, just a few crazy people out there that like to Google image search. I know it's not, the majority of you guys are not like that, but unfortunately they're just a few crazies. But anyways, we are getting rid of these, these three bushes and then we're gonna plant, you know, have new bushes and plants, really just plants and flowers to get, bring some color to the front of my home. There's the other side. And so whatever we put on this side, we're gonna do a, along that side as well. So what do you guys think? Help me decide. You see the little paper stones up there? I don't know, I kinda wanna match it. I didn't wanna do anything too tall, too high, cause we are getting new sod and all that, as you can see. Girl, the front of our house looks a mess. But I just wanna put them out there to see what I like. I'll, I'll talk to Charles about it. Leave a comment down below. If you have any kind of landscaping background or even if you don't have a landscaping background, you just like it and you're good at that kind of stuff, girl, email me and help a sister out cause I'm struggling. Okay, I'm struggling to uh, make these kinds of decisions about because I'm not even good in, with interior design. So like outdoor design. Yeah, I just want to make it look nice, you know, because this is going to come all the way around. This is kind of slopes down, slopes down. It's going to slope all the way to here. 
And then we're going to have river rock going down because we're having, like I said, um, erosion issues next to the house. So I don't know if you have any suggestions, let us just know, girl, because I'm on the struggle bus over here. Later. All right, y'all. <laughs> it's much brighter out now and got hubby out here with me. Uh, now I have my camera. I was filming with my phone before, but what are your thoughts? I, I don't know if I like any of them, to be honest. Now that I'm thinking about it, the way it's like kind of slanted down and then we're going to have it stop here. Then we, like I said, we need a river rock going down, but I, I just, I don't know if I'm going to like it because to do it properly, like, cause this has to turn into like, kind of like a mini retaining wall. So this lower part will have to raise up to be level all the way over here. All right, y'all. So hubby's project, you see here, we have this, our drainage here and it's not working because the like the water is kind of just sitting in the tub here it doesn't and then when it does it like washes out and that's why our grass is so tore up well that's one of many reasons why and we just have to level this up we've got to add dirt back here i don't even know if you can see we got to add dirt back there because the dirt kind of just sits there and we need to get the dirt away from or the water away from the foundation of our home so hubby's project is to redirect these gutters is that the word babe redirect Reroute. reroute the water that comes down this these two gutters here to connect them to all the way over here <laughs> our neighbor one of our neighbors a landscaper and he came stopped by and was like giving us all this advice and stuff because we were pricing it out the prices are just like oh my gosh astronomical uh, this is something we feel like we can do but if it does get out of control like out of our realm of comfortability comfortability be is that a word if the, if it's out of our comfort level is what i'm trying to say we will hire a professional so okay babe so what are we gonna do first why are you looking at me like that why are you looking at me like that so basically the goal is to get these drains tied together right and run them out run them out next to that drain yes on the concrete on the concrete so we don't have any erosion issues and yep. nothing's affecting our grass and nothing affects the grass that's what i just said so babe yep you're right i'm going to put a a loop here mm -hmm. i'm gonna remove that obviously. right right um, actually i'm gonna use this connector right here yeah put this on here and loop it here uh-huh this is going to connect to this one right here mm -hmm. and then well actually it's gonna connect like this this is gonna come here and connect here in the y mm -hmm. the flexible y yep and then i will connect that uh, and all run that the way down. down and then i'll get like another one of the four foot ones mm -hmm. and then run it all the way down to the um sidewalk all right and i may cut like a notch in that little trim section let's go let's go babe what's first are we, are we doing anything tonight today or are we just lining it up no because i still have to get some connectors because the home depot ran out remember? oh yeah with, so, with these connectors it was these connectors so i was only that one only had three so oh okay three of these connectors so no it was two so i have one mm -hmm. two i need a third one a third one i told you that at the store do you remember yeah but they don't they didn't have it remember? they did have more of these these no 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 no, no. oh we, oh i got all the ones they had. oh you did oh, okay yeah i got I all the ones they had. oh okay so okay. and then i have to get another one of these well they didn't have they didn't have one long enough but i mm -hmm. need one of those two so okay. once i get those two pieces and a little four foot section look at the palm tree so pretty it's gotten so big uh all right babe well so we got go a lot of work depot. to do all right let's get it y'all a couple hours have passed hubby went to home depot to try to find the rest of the connecting pieces that we need he went to two home depots and a lowe's and guess what they didn't have them <laughs> so i tried looking on amazon they didn't have them the, the particular piece that we need is this one so i don't know it's called stealth flow anyways so in the meantime hubby bought a chainsaw we're gonna try to see how hard it is to take one of these bushes out. And like I said, if you guys have any recommendation on plants, cause I could just see, I want some color in the front of the house. Uh, these kind of overgrown square bushes that are so formed, first of all, they're high maintenance. And second of all, I, I, we just want something, ooh, that's low maintenance. And to bring some color into the front of my house. So I'm thinking like little, I don't know, I'm just looking at what some of my neighbors do. Like, everybody takes care of their lawn so nicely. Like, I just feel like ours is like 
<laughs> thrown together. Anyway, if you have any recommendations what we could put in the front here, let me know, but let's see how this will work. This is hubby's first time using a chainsaw, right babe? Is it? I don't know. I'm nervous. No, I'm what, babe? <laughs> People, stop it. He's kidding, y'all. He's never used a chainsaw. <laughs> now I'm like, ooh, ooh. Wait, wait, you need to have glasses on. Safety glasses. Okay, well, I'm not getting that close. He should have safety glasses on. I'm gonna go in the garage and see if I can find some. But it's working. It's a cute little chainsaw. Oh, sorry, I just missed it. Good job, babe. Wow. I don't know, there's something about a man who and use tools that just does it for me. <laughs> now we're gonna see about getting the root out. You know, we've been talking to so many landscapers. I hope this isn't boring to you guys. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this type of content, but we've been, oh my gosh, look at this. This looks horrible. What are we gonna, this looks, look at how this looks, y'all. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. I feel like this has to go now because that looks so bad. I don't know if it's, I think that the sun, this was blocking the sun. Like obviously the, the look at how bad this looks, babe. <laughs> look. Oh. Yeah, it'll come back. You think it'll come back? You think because it was blocked, the sun was blocking, it was, or the bush was blocking the sun from hitting that? Yeah. That looks really bad though. It'll come back. All right, well, Abby says it'll come back. That wasn't too bad, huh babe? You did great. Yep. You did great, honey. All right, well. It, it, oh, let me move that out of the way. My battery's almost dead on this. Already? Well, you just got it. He no, literally just is, bought um, it. The one I use for the drill. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So we're going to try to save a little money, y'all, and remove these ourselves. Because like I said, they're just too overpowering. And if you have any recommendations on what we can put here, leave a comment down below and let us know. We're going to, of course, remulch it and raise the dirt up and everything. Man, the sun is like, wow, so pretty, the sun set today. So I'm, we're going to clean Hubby's car off because... My car is now in the garage, but his is out here because we still have so much crap in the garage. We haven't parked both of our cars in the garage since the pandemic because we cleaned the garage out for the girls to play in there when the pandemic was really bad. And so in Georgia, we have pollen. Your car will turn green and this is the stuff that will make you sneeze and have headaches and everything else. It's just really bad. So I am just going to rinse his car off. First of all, I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Dawn Power Wash, boom on the tires, on the hood, just a little bit on the hood, and then we're just gonna rinse it off and see how that works. Let's go. I really wanna see how this is gonna work with these headlights, because they're so fogged. Let's see what the Dawn Power Wash is really made of, baby. Let's see how well it works. This is how the other one looks. So here's it before, we'll do the after. This doesn't even make sense for me to do all this. And I feel like the wind is just like blowing it away. Gosh, look at my girl's fingerprints. This is from them touching the car, you know, when they're playing outside or whatever. And then the oil like attracts the pollen that's on your hands. It's just disgusting, right? Both Hubby and I have old cars because we don't believe in car notes. But it is time, both of our cars are getting old. Even though they're running good, God is good. Knock on it, knock on wood. Let me go find some wood real quick. I'm just gonna use a tree, boom, boom. You know, we, we you know, have to just make some decisions soon about what we wanna do next. Y'all look at this. Can you see the yellow grime? A lot of this sometimes is just from the sun damage, UV damage, but a lot of that is just dirt and grime, oil, it's gross. All right, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but it got a lot of the dirt off. Like the power, down power wash is the business. You see all the yellow coming off, so that's good. Just gonna do around the tires and the front hood and stuff. This is not a pressure washer or anything. It's just, I'm using this attachment that I got from Costco. Which one was it? last month. If you haven't seen that Costco haul, you can tap the I in the upper right hand corner. Well, all right, let me continue. All right, y'all. It looks a lot better, right? It looks a lot better. You remember the before. Wow. Y'all look at the pollen on the, can you see it? On the suds. So gross. Wife of the year. 
is who is she, right? It looks good. It sucks though because the pollen will be back by tomorrow morning. So, but it was just something cute to do. Here is the after of the lights. It looks a lot better. I can't really tell. Yeah, like these spots though, I guess it's drying and coming back. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so we're done. Even though, like I said, by the time we wake up, the pollen will be back. There, there it is, it rinses all the way. It's gross. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're done with that. Okay guys, so I am now on my way to Sam's Club because Sam's Club had some deals that I'm gonna be sharing with you in an up and coming video. And I'll be filming that, so watch out for that. But thank you guys so much for watching me and spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And join my YouTube family, click the subscribe button. What are you doing? We have so much to do this summer and so many projects and things to do this spring. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.